Alright, what's up guys? It's Gasses here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a YouTube thumbnail using Photoshop. Um, not all of you have this option, but I'm going to show you how to check if you do have this option. So I'm going to go to a video that I did not put a thumbnail on because I did not upload it. I made it private so that a friend could download it for a commentary. So go to the, this is in the video manager tab by the way, go to edit, and you'll see you have this custom thumbnail or you can choose one of the thumbnails from here now what you can do if you do not have this custom thumbnail is um, make your thumbnail in Photoshop that I'm gonna show you how to do and then add it on to the end of your video for about 20 to 15 seconds and choose it in the set as thumbnail so if you have this custom thumbnail you can see you can upload a picture so you can just use that so back to Photoshop Alright, so you're going to go to File, New, make the width 1280 and the height 720, which is the standard 720p HD, click OK, go to the little lock button, double click it to unlock, double click again to get to your blending options, go to Gradient Overlay, make the size 150, make the style radial, and go to the gradient, make the second color, first off make the first color black, make the second color a lighter color like a gray. You don't have to do black and gray, you can do any color, just make sure that the first color is darker than the lighter color. And hit OK. Go to reverse and now you can see that the outer is black and that the inside is a lighter gray. So hit OK. I'm gonna add some text use whatever font you like. I'm going to use Typograph Pro that I downloaded from a font pack. Um, since this is a thumbnail, I'm going to just use some simple text. You obviously will make it say whatever you want. I'm going to say thumbnail. Drag it to the bottom. And go to Google. Go to Google Images. You can either add uh, an image from your images that you already have downloaded or you can go to Google Images and search for a PNG, make sure it's a PNG so that the background is clear and you can you don't have to manually clear your uh, the background in Photoshop by yourself so I'm gonna type in YouTube logo PNG since this is a tutorial for YouTube and find a nice big one this one looks good that's what she said um, view original image right click save image as save it as YouTube yes because I already downloaded it alright now go back into Photoshop go to file open go to the bottom YouTube drag it into your thumbnail and go to edit transform scale hold shift so that the it remains the same aspect ratio drag it onto the nice size put it in the center check for OK and you can leave it as that or you can continue on which I'm gonna do just to show you that there's many options that you can have so I'm gonna add some more text make it your YouTube channel if you want drag it into a nice position and hit OK um, I'm not really gonna take my time with this just because it's a tutorial for YouTube you guys should be creative and do whatever you want so uh, that's all for this tutorial. Just be creative with this and you can get some really cool effects with it. So that's all for now.